Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Matthew Pritchard with Evergreen Valley Home Improvement and today we're going to be showing you how to mount your own television and just how easy it can be. For the television we have a Vizio M322i B1. It's a 32 inch television. Starting over here at the left we've got an Omni mount for small televisions. Um, I don't have it in a box because both the television and the mount were given to me for this project. What we have here is a box of various different bits and drivers that you will end up needing um, as well as drill bits. And then you're also going to need a measuring tape, screwdriver, level, a drill to be able to drill your pilot holes and um, don't forget a pen is going to be useful as well for marking your locations where you're going to want to pre-drill your holes for your bolts. Um, and then what I'm using is a socket that is going to be attached to the drill uh, that I have here. Um, if you have, don't have the attachment to be able to attach it to a drill, you can use a socket wrench. And then here's the drill bit that we're going to be using to be able to pre-drill the holes for our bolts. And don't forget, you're also going to need a stud finder. This is the stud buddy. Works very well and it uses magnets to be able to detect where your nails or screws are in the drywall. So right now we've got the TV faced flat down on the surface here and we've got the mount pre-installed. And let me just go ahead and let you know the reason why we're doing this. Um, to be able to determine how high you want your bottom of your television to be off the ground or off of a entertainment center or above certain objects, you're going to want to find out once you've got this mount installed where the bottom of this television is going to be. So what I like to do is just place it on a level surface. Take a level, make sure it's straight up and down, and then you're going to take a measurement from that level to the spot where the first bolt is going to be installed in your mount, which is right here in this oval space. So the measurement we've got for this is going to be four and a quarter inches up from the bottom of the television. So if you want your television to be, say, 50 inches off the ground, you're going to add four and one quarter inches to that measurement, it'll be 54 and one quarter. However, it's always safer to go a few inches higher than that, just in case you got a little bit of sag in your mount and you don't want the bottom of your television scraping on whatever it is that you're trying to install it above. So, there's a few things you're going to want to do before you mount your television to the wall. This right here is actually the TV mounting plate or bracket. And these right here are actually referred to as VESA mounting holes. Um, and you're going to want to see where those holes align with that mount. So these holes line up with this. Um, this mount also came with arms that would attach here and then angle outwards if you had a larger VESA mount to accommodate a larger television. But for this television, we're just gonna be using these mounting holes since it's actually only a 32 inch TV. So you're gonna to wanna to take your four screws and get that mount secured to the back of your TV. And they don't have to be torqued down really tight, but you do want them to be tight enough that they're gonna you know, hold it in place. And whenever you're selecting your screws, you don't want them to bottom out in these holes. So basically whenever you screw them in, you don't want them to impact the very bottom of the hole or else you could possibly damage your television screen that's behind those screws. 
And then after that, you've got the main mounting part. Now I'm just gonna show you real quick how it mounts while it's off the television, or not off the television, but when it's not mounted on the wall. So with this particular type of mount, you see it's got this ring right here and this notch. This notch slips right underneath that ring. And then right here you've got two small screw holes. And you can see that they're slotted and sort of angled in an arc. And that's so that you can adjust the level of your television once that you've got it hung up on the wall. And like I said, I'm only doing this step as sort of a, an illustration so that you see how this is going to go together once that it's up on the wall. And there you go. That's how it assembles. Now we'll go ahead and go over to the wall and show you how to find the stud and mark the locations where you're going to need to drill your holes for your bolts. Okay, so we determined where we're going to want to mount this television. It is going to be based on, there's going to, there are some cabinets to the left of the TV. We wanted the bottom of the television to be even with the bottom of the cabinets. So we took that measurement and we added four and one quarter inches, like we referred to earlier, to that measurement. And we came up that it would need to be about 58 and 3 eighths of an inch off the ground to be able to get to that. Now, one thing that I know I'm doing a little bit in reverse, you see this stud buddy right here? It's just kind of stuck to the wall. Um, you're going to have to do a little bit of exploration to find these, these screws. So you'll take the stud buddy and just kind of slowly scan back and forth on the wall, like what I'm doing, and hold it kind of loosely, because you'll feel whenever that it catches either a nail head or a screw head. And from there you'll know, okay, well, you know, that's got to be a stud. That's where the drywall is connected. So we took that, and then I figured that this line right here is right over the stud. There's another step that I do in the verification process, which actually is going to be taking a very small um, a drill bit, very, very small, about like 1 16th of an inch, and drill a few small holes level along that mark until that I find the hollow space that's to the edge of the stud. And then what we'll do is measure three quarters of an inch inwards to get to the middle of your one and a half inch stud. After that, you don't have to do all the tricky guesswork. You're just going ahead and take the space between your bolt hole patterns, and then you mark where your next hole's gonna be, pre-drill that, as well as your bottom bolt hole, and then you'll be ready to install the mount. So right now we're exploring the wall to see where the edge of this stud is going to be. See this taller blue mark right here is actually where we initially guesstimated that was the center. So start out over here and you go in here you see, okay, well, you know, there's no stud behind there. This drill bit's going all the way in. Come over here, drill bit's going all the way in there right, right there. It's not hitting anything solid. Now we go right here, you can hear the knocking right there, that's, that's stud. So since this one was hollow, we can sort of guesstimate that the edge of this stud is about right here. So once that you figured out where the edge of the stud is, you can go ahead and take your measuring tape, and then just measure in three quarters of an inch from where you found that the edge of the stud was, so which comes out to be about right here. From there, you need to actually take the measurement from this right here, which is the bottom hole, which is going to be exactly right there. You measure from the center of this hole to the center of that one, and you'll know exactly how far up 
you're going to need to be able to go to mark your next one. So I've already measured this. This is seven and one quarter inches from hole to hole at the centers. So now we're just measuring up that distance. Go ahead and put a mark up here where you're going to want that top bolt to be. Just to be able to show a reference point. And then you're going to take your level, place it at the center mark on your bottom, where your bottom bolt is going to be installed. And then just draw a intersecting line on that top mark. And this is exactly where you're going to be pre-drilling for your television mount bolts. Okay, so with a drill bit that you're going to be using to pre-drill your holes, you're going to want it to be definitely smaller than this or else it's not going to grab. So with your drill bit, you're going to want it to be obviously smaller than the size of your lag bolt. You just don't want to try driving the lag bolt into the wall without pre-drilling it because there's a slight possibility of cracking the stud which most likely won't happen but the biggest thing is that it will be very hard for you to drive this into the wall if it's not pre-drilled before. So we're going to go ahead and take this drill bit and pre-drill these two holes and get on to installing our mount. Okay, let's get this installed. Since there's a groove on this, we don't necessarily want to torque it down just yet. You see it rocks back and forth. We're going to want to take our level that we have over here, find out when we've got this mount perfectly level, which is right there, it looks beautiful. So let's go ahead and tighten it down. Went ahead and snapped your cover plate on. And okay, now we're just simply going to hook that ring into that notch on the wall mount. And want to be able to bring it out because. You need to install those screws in the back. We're not going to want to use the drill for this because we don't want these screws to strip out. They're very small screws. You don't need anything more than just a Phillips head screwdriver to get those guys in place. Now we're going to want to install those two smaller screws using nothing more than just a screwdriver. If you use a drill, you're going to over torque these things and you're going to strip the threads and we don't want that. So go ahead, tighten these down. Now that we've got the TV mounted, you're going to want to place it flat up against the wall or as flat up against the wall as you can. Take your level, place it on the top or bottom, and just check for level. Now that we've verified the TV is level, you're going to want to take your screwdriver and just make sure that these two screws that adjust for the angle of your television are actually tight. 
Now that the hard part's done, come back here, go ahead and get your cord installed. If I can even find the hole. <laughs> That's what he said. And then we've actually got these neat little organizing ties back here to be able to run your cables through. And some of the, a lot of these mounts even come with these plastic shields for cable management. Now, plug it in and enjoy. Now we're ready to kick back and relax. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe.